Hey, what's up all you riding warriors and seated centurions? Uh, special video for you today. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about rider wellness, um, but not necessarily just for riders. It's anybody who spends a lot of time sitting down all day long. Um, graphic designers, uh, you got coders, even uh, esports gamers. So if you're spending a lot of time in the chair, you need this video. So as I speak to you right now, um, I have an injury in my back. And it's from basically being hunched over all day long. There's a small muscle that runs under the scapula of the shoulder um, that's very, very hard to reach. So um, uh, if you experience like the hunched shoulders or the tightness in your back, here's, a tr here's the trick. Lacrosse ball. So this little baby right here is very, very solid. Uh, that's why you want to get something like this. Um, but it's, it's also soft enough that it's not going to hurt a lot. I mean, it's going to hurt, but it's going to hurt good. So what you do is you find that little pressure point in between the shoulder blades. You know what I'm talking about. We all get it. Um, and dig this little baby in there. You're just going to lie on top of it. Once you find that spot, just melt into it. Um, and it, it's going to relieve all the stress through the shoulders, through the neck, getting the headaches and so forth. So get one of these little beauties. You can find them at any sporting goods store. And that's, that's your first trick and tip. But if you're riding all day or you're working all day, spending hours and hours in the seat, taking breaks is important. Especially now, you know, a lot of stuff is at home. You don't really think about it, uh, taking your breaks uh, as often as you should be because you're just trying to grind and get your work done. But I say every, every 30 minutes or so, I know it seems like a lot, but take a, take a break stand up from your chair and just try to loosen out and stretch. So first one I'm going to show you is just up in the upper shoulders like I was just talking about, the tightness that's up in there. So you're going to take your shoulders to your ears and just roll them back like that. Okay, do that a couple of times to the back, to the ears, roll them back. Then you're going to go the opposite direction. So you're going to come up to the ears and roll forward just like that. So and you can alternate as well. So back, forward. So it's all the way up to your ears and then back. What's it, what that's doing is, again, you're loosening up all the tension that's up. We all mostly carry it all in our shoulders and just want to get that out of there. So, especially, like I said, hunched over all day at a, a the keyboard, that's going to like really constrict the blood flow. So this is going to help that. The next one I'm going to show you for the wrists. Okay, you're on the keyboard, you're like that. Carpal tunnel syndrome sets in if you don't take care of your wrist. So, very simple. You're just going to stand up, extend your hand like that, like you're going to high five me. Take your fingers right there, press back. Really easy. Don't try to break your own wrist, but just like that. Keep your elbow laxed. Lax means like slightly bent, so that you're not putting a lot of pressure on your elbow. Okay, other side. And you know, you're going to hold these for maybe five seconds, ten seconds, whatever. Whatever feels good to you, you don't want to do it too, for too long, but then you're going to go back, you know, alternate. Do it about two or three times, just to stretch out, okay? A couple of more advanced ones that I learned during jiu-jitsu, okay? It's called Kordagaisi. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Anyway, so you're going to take your arm like this, you're going to crane your wrist, okay? And you're just going to take your other hand on top of that, and you're going to press down on it. Again, not too hard. Just enough weight on top of that that you feel a stretch. Keep your elbow up in line with your, your chest right here, like that is a tabletop. So it's again like here. They call it goosing the neck, and you're just gonna push down just a little bit. And that lets the wrists remain pliable or loose. Okay, so other side, you're gonna come up like this, bend it over like that, like you just drop in your wrist, hand on top of it, press down, easy peasy. Okay, again, hold it. 30 seconds, don't like bounce it, just hold it there. Stretches it out, okay? So that's a couple of ones for the wrists, for the shoulders. We're gonna hit lower body.